test out the Aquascan DX200 magnetometer. I've heard a lot about this unit from some friends that do quite a bit of, of uh, shipwreck hunting, treasure hunting. Uh, the beauty of this unit, supposedly, is that if you're towing a magnetometer behind your boat and you get a big hit, but you don't see any relief on the bottom, you can go down with this unit, and this unit has the ability to penetrate under the sand and find ferrous uh, metal objects under the sand. Or if you're in low visibility um, and you know there's something there, you know you're in the right area, you can sort of uh, move it around in this fashion and it will actually lead you to the, the object that you're looking for. Um, when it comes from the manufacturer, it comes in a box like this. Uh, they have two kits. This is the professional kit. Um, it comes with the unit itself here. If I can get this out. And you can see the unit has uh, different sensitivities. It's got a low, mid, and high sensitivity. Um, as you're getting closer to the unit, you switch this to a different sensitivity so that it, it doesn't just go uh, uh, like a banshee in your, in, your, in your earphone here. Now it comes, with, it comes with underwater headphones. The top side headphones are an option. You have to order that separately. But it does come with the underwater headphones as well as what's called a bone phone. Now the bone phone is actually a bone conductor. It hooks onto the unit here and you can place it actually up under your uh, hood if you're wearing a hood um, so that you can actually hear the sound as you're approaching the metal object you can hear the sound actually conduct through the bone and in fact for our test what I'm going to be using is a head mount here with a GoPro camera because I want to be able to see if you can actually hear on the video as I'm approaching the metal object. So what I'll probably end up doing is wearing this, sticking the bone phone up under it, and just see if it comes through the, uh, through the tape so you can hear it on the camera. Um, you can see in the unit, here's the probe itself. And it comes with some adapters here where you can actually hook the unit on here. And you can hook it in like this. The probe actually goes down at a 45 degree angle. Now since they sent me this unit, they, uh, they came out with another adapter that will actually go at a 90 degree. So you can put it in like this, the probe hooks on here, and it will go actually in a 90 degree angle. And you just move as you're, as you're approaching the metal object, you'll be able to hear uh, the, through the bone phone or the headphones, you'll be able to hear the sound change that will actually lead you right to the, uh, to the object. So, uh, so that's pretty much it. Let's go test it out. I started the test about 15 or 20 feet away from a steel object and I moved the probe left and right and listened for shift changes in the frequency in the bone phone. As I approach the target you can actually hear the bone phone letting me know I'm getting close. The DX200 is extremely sensitive even at distances, which would come in handy if you're looking for objects in low visibility water where you can't see the object, or if it's under the sand. The Aquascan DX200 performed flawlessly, and I would recommend it to anybody who does these types of searches underwater, or even on land. For a full product review, you can check out our article in issue number 28 of Wreck Diving Magazine, where we cover all of this and more.